Hi, this is Wayne with Specialized Maintenance, Awning Cleaning, and we're out of Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. And today you're going to see a video that I made of me cleaning some bird droppings off. And this is an extreme case of bird droppings. The birds have been living in the signage above the awning. These are three awnings. They're black in color and what they have is just the bird droppings. This is the worst of them is the awning above the door, opening door for the front door and you can see the sign above it and that's where the birds sit and this is where they drop their bird droppings at. And I'm going to use a variety of tools to help me accomplish this and what I have is a 55 gallon tank with some water in it and I've got hoses and a 12 volt pump and you can see the battery there it's all hooked up and ready to go I have about 50 feet of hose that nice green hose there and one of the first steps is just uh, putting some water on this bird droppings so we can soften them up and so I'm going to just go ahead and spray that now with some water. It's interesting that as I'm spraying it with water, some of the bird droppings are already coming off. The ones that are sort of new, the older they get on an awning, especially in our height summer temperatures, have a tendency to bake on the awnings and become much more difficult to get off. So if you do have a problem with birds the best thing to do is to uh, get them off as soon as you can and then that's after I've wet the awning and softened up the bird droppings I'm going to get a soft bristle brush and begin brushing that area of the bird droppings and that helps spread the water out a little bit and get the uh, bird droppings loosening up a bit Then after I'm done with that, I let that sit just a little longer to soften up. I have a special pole I've developed and I can apply a special treatment for bird droppings and I'm going to apply them to the bird droppings with this pole. I like to go over each spot a couple of times and scrub it in and by putting that on it, it really helps to eliminate the stuck on bird droppings, the stuff that's really baked on. If I was to show you the whole thing we would be here for about an hour and a half, that's how long it took to work on these three awnings. I'm mainly focusing this video on this, this main awning, but all the awnings had to be treated this very same way. And after I've let that sit for a while, you can see uh, the amazing difference that made. So the final bit, I'm just going to spray it with this special bird poop remover, which you see me doing now. Just a pump up sprayer. And now I'm going to brush that in. Make sure I've got it all covered. The process of removing bird droppings are actually takes a little bit of time to do it right. I do not recommend a power washer to do this. Uh, awning fabric is fragile to a certain extent and you can't overdo it. So the uh, water spray I'm putting on here is about equivalent to just for the uh, a water spigot. It's about 60 psi. And as I'm spraying this, those uh, bird droppings are coming off. As you can see how well they've come off. We have 
eliminated at least 90% of it on this awning and as we swing the camera you can see the other awnings that we also took care of. This is a commercial property and so we uh, like to put out some safety cones. Um, I'm showing you the truck here but you also see the safety cones just in case anyone's coming by. It's rather early in the morning here and you can see we used about 50 gallons of water and most of it um, evaporates pretty quickly in the hot summertime temperatures. But they're looking really good there and as long as the birds are living in that awning and using that as their dropping area uh, unfortunately they will come back. Well here's a before cleaning picture and here's after cleaning. What a major difference. Well, thanks so much for viewing the video. If you have bird droppings that you need removed from your awning or dirt or mold or anything else, just give me a call. I'll be happy to come out and take a look at your project. Thanks for viewing the video again and have a great day. Bye-bye now.